Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is of course Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Now as you can see in front of me we have Happy Groot in this evolution of Groot Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive. Again, this is another figure that I've had for ages and I don't know why I haven't reviewed it. I think we've just been hit by so many waves I haven't managed to fit this one in. Uh, but I have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. I did love it. Uh, I have reviewed uh, the both of the Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends wave this year. So this is probably the last Guardians of the Galaxy related figure I'll be reviewing this year. Actually, I've still got to get Ego. So this isn't the last Guardians of the Galaxy related figure. This is the penultimate one, but it is Happy Group. And to be honest, I only wanted this because of the little accessories. Well, I say accessories, they are Groot. Uh, we got Baby Groot in the pa uh, potted plant, and then we got little Baby Groot giving us a wave. Uh, but yeah, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. It is actually available in the UK, which is crazy. UK never get Toys R Us exclusives, but it has actually started to appear. I myself have not seen it where I live, but I've been told it definitely has hit UK shores. Uh, but yeah, so evolution of group figure. There we get the three groups on the side. Uh, all just pictures of the figures, to be honest. And then on the back, we get a picture of group in all three forms, a little read up. And as always, there is no list of figures for a builder figure because he is an exclusive, he is on his own. Uh, but the original group was actually a builder figure. So it is surprising that we now get this builder figure repacked as a single figure. Um, so let's open him up. Pow, and here's Groot out of the box. And to be fair, it is an improvement. Uh, I was a little bit hesitant on buying this. As I said, if it didn't have these tiny little package pieces in, I probably wouldn't have picked this group up because I do have the original builder figure. But it does have a few slight changes. It's the same mold, it's the same figure, but with a bit more paint detail and obviously a happy group as well. Uh, do we prefer a happy group to a moody group? It is your choice, people, it is your choice. Uh, but I've now got both, I will compare them in a minute. But as I said, he comes packaged with these two groups. We get a uh, potted plant group, which we've seen at the end credits of the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, uh, where he was dancing and Batista turned around, it was pretty funny. And then we got uh, the baby group, which is in the Guardians of the Galaxy second movie, and he's waving just like he is to Gamora at the start of the film in the opening credits. Um, and as you can see for a quick size comparison, um, that is the size. So obviously they are tiny compared to the actual group, uh, but they both stand on their own. There's no articulation in the two tiny ones. Let me zoom in so you can have a closer look. And here is a close up of baby Groot. He is tiny by the way, because that is the, my finger. So that's your size comparison. Um, there's no articulation, but considering how small of a figure this is, there is some paint detail. You can obviously see the eyes, he's smiling, he's got a bit of green. Um, and yeah, there is some sculpting detail as well. Obviously it's just in the mold, but it's a nice job considering the size. So he does actually scale well to uh, the Mar uh, Marvel Legends, which I will show you in a minute. Let's swap him out for the potted plant group. Now, this was at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy, which I've already mentioned, and again, Considering how small it is, you can it does look like Baby Groot. The good good detail, um, obviously molded effects. Yeah, um, for such small pieces, people you can't complain. Um, obviously no articulation, but let's be honest, they look like Groot. It's what we wanted. Happy days. Now, before I compared this group with the previous builder figure, I just thought I'd show you a closer look at the head. Obviously, this one's smiling, and you can clearly see there's more green on this figure than in the previous one, and that is all the way around the body as well. I'll, I'll uh, scroll down in a second so you can see. Um, but yeah, uh, this is an improvement to the other builder figure. So let me see if I can slide down really slowly. There you go, so more detail all over uh, Groot's body. Not a lot, not a lot, but there is some detail. And again, I'll spin him around. And again, let's go up. Not so much detail on the back of the legs, but you get more detail as you go up to the top. I say detail, it, again, it's not really detail, it's just a bit of a uh, green dry brushing, really. But um, it does pop off uh, the figure. Um, he is a plant after all. So yeah, let's compare him to the previous builder figure. 
So here's the Evolution Groot compared to the very first builder figure that we got of Groot back in 2014. And you can clearly see there's paint differences and there is an improvement in this figure. Um, there's You can see different shades of color for sure on this one with the green, obviously a bit of dark brown or black, I don't know. But this one was just molded in that one color and there's a bit of dry brushing and miserable Groot, moody Groot, um, grumpy Groot. Um, but yeah, the heads do swap, very simple, but the paint is different. So I'll show you that if you wanted your Moody Groot head on the new Groot. There you go. So there's Moody Groot on the new mold and Happy Groot on the old one. And they swap seamlessly, to be fair. Um, you can't tell. Maybe you can tell there's more paint detail in this one for that body, but... Let's be honest, you can't tell on this one, can you, at all? I'll zoom in just so you can have a quick look. Um, but yeah, Grumpy Groot head fits on the new body um, perfectly. And then you can see the paint details there. Same with the back. Let me swap the heads back real quick. Come back here, Groot. So there's your comparison for you people. Happy Evolution Groot, Grumpy Builder Figure Groot. There you go, you can hear the heads pop. Um, and if I spin them around again, you can see the difference in uh, paint detail as well. So yeah, um, if you wanted to upgrade your Groot in your collection, then definitely get the Evolution Groot. Um, I guess there's no need for the old Groot now, unless you want Grumpy Groot. But look how happy this one is. How could you not want this guy? He's gone out of focus. Let's compare him to some other figures. Now, just before I compare Groot with all the other Guardians of the Galaxy, I thought I'd show you this Groot in the Ravager gear uh, that we got with Rocket Raccoon in the second wave of Guardians of the Galaxy figures this year. Um, and here he is compared to just Baby Groot and Potty Plant Groot. So they're all about the same size. Good detail in them all considering how small they are. Um, so yeah, which one's your favourite is up to you. Um, I actually quite like the Ravager Groot. Uh, but I also, do you know what? I like them all. I can't decide. They're all cute little Groots. And here's Groot compared to the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy in Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, and Drax the Destroyer. Hopefully this is what we're going to be seeing in the new Infinity War. Spoiler alert, but you do see Groot grow from a baby to a teenager in the end credits of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I did warn you, if you haven't seen it by now, then why are you even watching this review? So... Don't complain. But yeah, um, and they also said that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 took place four years before Infinity War. So obviously Groot's going to be back to normal size by the time we get to Infinity War. So hopefully this is what the Guardians of the Galaxy team will be looking like uh, next year in May when the film comes out. But overall, really like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's in my top three uh, uh, Marvel films. Um, love all the characters. Um, so yeah, happy to add this Groot to my collection. Um, so yeah, even all the babies as well, even though it makes no sense to have them all on display at once. Um, what I've been doing, I've been getting a uh, Drax to hold the Ravenger group. Um, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to display them now. Uh, but yeah, my name's been Dan W. Thank you for watching. Um, and I will see you on the next one.